Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another daily energy draw. This is Angel Week where we're using all the angel oriented message decks and oracle decks um, to connect to our angelic guidance and angel team for messages and support. We're using the Archangel Oracle cards today. Tomorrow we will have Romance Angels Friday as usual because he doesn't like to start the weekend with a little bit of romance. Um, but let's see what Spirit has for us today. Thursday the 18th, February 18th. Remember, take the messages how and when they resonate for you. The timestamps are just timestamps. Okay, and one more. All right, Spirit, what do you have to say for, oh, today, okay, and that one, okay. All right, we have Spiritual Understanding, Archangel Raziel. He showed up earlier this week. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. And then we have Peace, Archangel uh, Cameo. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. And I feel like this is the epitome of everything we've been channeling this week. This is the epitome of the past few daily energy draws for Angel Week where we are expanding and we're really embodying, anchoring into everything that we have been learning. And what I'm actually hearing is higher and higher levels of understanding, of spiritual understanding, bringing that down into our physical human experience so that we embody love, so that we embody our divine essence, so that we embody everything that we have learned. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we also have chakra clearing on the bottom of the deck. And what I'm getting from this is um, because of the clearing work that we've done and that we continue to do, it's important that we continue to do that clearing work because there are more and more layers. The more we do this, the more we reach that level of peace within ourselves. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> the more we clear, and that could be throat chakra clearings as well maybe. The more we clear, the more we reach layers and layers, levels, higher levels of peace within ourselves. And look back. I always say this. Look back at where you were at the start of this journey, at the start of your awakening, at the start of your ascension process. Look at where you are now and how you have transformed and the level of peace that you really feel within you. The level of harmony. And they gave me this as an analogy uh, once upon a time where it was like, Anything that would have shaken you up before, you've reached this level of, they're giving me the word spiritual maturity, spiritual understanding, awareness, faith, where no matter what it's like, you've reached this level of a vibration where you cannot sink any lower because you have cleared that past programming, because you have cleared, they're saying the past dimension, you have changed and shifted dimensions by changing and shifting consciousness. So it's like even if there are outside scenarios or challenges or obstacles that try to bring you down, it's like there's this this rock bottom. And you could have sunk a little bit lower before, but this is that new dimension. This is the bottom of that new dimension. You can't go any 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 lower. You have shifted dimension because you have shifted consciousness and there is no going back. And this is that layer of peace. And the more we ascend, the more we are growing, the more we're evolving, the more that peace is going to expand. And that peace is just a proponent of love. The peace that you feel within is just because you are opening up to more and more levels or layers and understanding awareness of love within yourself, aware that you are love. That is who you are. And what we're doing in this ascension journey is we're just clearing out anything that is not aligned to love. So that's what this energy really is. We are really helping to clear. And look at that's the crown chakra, helping us to connect more fully to our spirit team, our source energy, ourselves. The more we do this, the more we're anchoring in and embodying everything that we've learned, everything that we feel, all that alignment to love, all of that peace. This is where this ascension journey has been taking us. And um, what we had channeled on Monday was this is just continuing to expand. We really have been moving into the next level of our ascension journey um, with our sacred partners, if you are in a sacred partnership, but for ourselves, this is the next level of our evolution. And they just said it's a spiritual evolution. This is the next layer of ourselves, which we are unearthing. We have moved past the, the past few years. This ascension journey really has been 
quite difficult to our human understanding because we were clearing out all that soul sludge. We've been clearing out all that programming, all that outdated patterns, the outdated heartbreak and trauma and pain. We've been clearing collective programming. We've been clearing ancestral and lineage timelines of pain and suffering. We've been doing this because we're moving into a new way of being, a new way of living. We are evolving. That's what ascension really is. We are evolving as a collective. So it's within ourselves, but as a whole as well, because we are all connected. That's that, that unity consciousness. And so the more we ascend, the more we are moving into this new level of being. And that's what embodiment really is. It's a new way of being, a new way of loving, a new understanding of ourselves and our truth, our true spiritual nature. We've forgotten this, being human incarnate, we have forgotten this. And we've carried with us the templates for this evolution, for this ascension. And we've carried with us our knowing within our soul self, but that had been so suppressed and repressed based on lifetimes of human incarnations where we had forgotten the truth of ourselves. We had forgotten the, the love within ourselves, the connection to source and all living consciousness. But the more we're evolving, the more we're ascending, and this really is the next phase of our journey, the more we are anchoring in all of that knowledge, the knowledge that we thought we had forgotten, the wisdom that we thought we had forgotten, the wisdom that has always been contained within, we are remembering that. We are remembering we are love. And with that love brings more peace and clarity to not just our consciousness, our minds, but to our physical experience as well. So this is a beautiful um acknowledgement of where we've been and where we're going on this journey and and it really feels like I've been talking to friends about this it really feels like we're bringing back after such a difficult time on this journey because of all the healing work we've done because of all the triggers because of all the trauma that we've been clearing um the magic is coming back it feels like the, it, it, they're saying well it's always been here but we're remembering the magic of ourselves of the universe we're connecting more intuitively to that and we're learning how to embody that. And, and all that is, that magic is, is love. And that is who you are. So this is a beautiful, beautiful um, confirmation, a beautiful confirmation of where we are in the journey and where we're headed to more and more love. All right, you guys, we'll be back tomorrow with Romance Angels Friday. I'm sending you so much love, so much light. We'll see you then. Bye.